hello dear guests uh, participating the seminar uh, my uh, my presentation is about challenges to use timber and load bearing structure in Latvia and uh, the purpose of my presentation is just to show some 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 main main issue and main main things uh, from the point of uh, structural design in, in, in Latvia uh, so some 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 words about me uh, I'm a head of the board of a Latvian Association of uh, Structural Engineers. Also, I am participate in a uh, member of Latvian Certification Committee, STK30, and also I am certified uh, structural engineer and, and, and expert. Uh, uh, some some few words about history. Of course, in, in, in Latvia, we have a very, very uh, from the beginning, uh, well known that timber as a, as a material, uh, and uh, we also know that uh, we have famous in the Riga and as a, with the old old uh, architecture uh, of, of Riga with the wood. And uh, as you see in this uh, slide, uh, even before World War II, we have quite a lot of uh, companies which are producing uh, timber, timber supply. And uh, actually 20% of uh, Latvian uh, companies was uh, the timber production companies. Uh, the main, the main uh, topic of my presentation is just divided on, on four, four parts. Uh, it's uh, before design stage, challenges during design, uh, construction stage, and also uh, the life cycle of uh, timber bearing structures uh, from the uh, structural design point of view. Uh, before design stages, uh, of course, uh, the first, uh, the building type, what kind of type it would be, residential, public, sport facility, commercial, uh, the main idea of the this, the building uh, client the client concept uh, many things depends on uh, some in the beginning from the client what what uh, way is client uh, choosing to go uh, the most optimal structural solution to use uh, systems as cheap as possible or from the beginning the client uh, wants to, to see wood as a preferred uh, a main main option uh, of course, sustainability issue uh, here in Latvia, it's, it's uh, not uh, this issue, not, not exactly including in, in uh, no, uh, norms yet. And, and of course, uh, the requirements of design norms, uh, it is the, I think, uh, the biggest challenge regarding timber. Uh, and uh, did, did the client uh, choose to use timber, uh, knowing that that might be from the some of the additional norms or standards, this uh, structure might be a little bit uh, not so not so cheap if we comparing with other other structures. Of course, challenges during design, it's uh, strength of structure, uh, stability where we're using a uh, euro code system here in Latvia and the uh, fire requirements uh, where the main uh, main uh, uh, main norm of that is the Latvian Latvian standard uh, 201 15 which is uh, the standard of uh, fire requirements for building and uh, I tried to, to make some kind of uh, summary table for that, uh, where you can see the, the table for the minimum, uh, minimum uh, reaction classes for load bearing structure types of building and, uh, and, uh, and then the, depending on uh, the degree of the fire resistance of building. This table actually shows uh, the types of uh, load bearing structures uh, type of the of the scale scale of uh, building 
and uh, the marks of that what kind of uh, what kind of uh, materials and structures uh, can be used in that kind of uh, buildings and here we can we see that with the with the green the green area we see that we can easily use unprotected uh, wood as a load bearing structure in the blue and blue case we can use wood too but it uh, can be used with some protection system. Uh, it's uh, painting or the additional covering. And the red one is uh, regarding this uh, fire safety or building uh, standard. It's not allowed to use wood as a load bearing structure. And here we can easily see that uh, this, the smaller, smaller uh, public buildings, dwelling houses, with that kind of buildings, we don't have any any problem to use timber. But if this building is uh, larger, this uh, fire safety standard not not allowed to do that. And uh, usually, if we look only this in this standard, the the way how how architects try to do is as much as they can stay in this O3 area and uh, try to divide this building in the, in, in fire fire uh, sections to, to keep as much as possible as this uh, unprotected uh, wood structures to be to be uh, as a as a also interior part but there is also uh, the alternative way how to how to how to how to try to solve this and I tried to, to make a sketch of this uh, scenario that, uh, of course, we had uh, during design proposed structural solution for the building concept. Then we have uh, the requirements for this standard. And there is two, two actually ways. If this uh, building and structure concept meet these uh, norms, then it's OK. And of course, there is a possibility that uh, to 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 try to design building what is uh, uh, not uh, meeting these uh, requirements, and then this possibility to to make a list of issue and uh, the possible solutions with this uh, with this uh, solutions what's not not meet these uh, norms. And then this uh, question goes through the fire state and rescue service uh, commission. And uh, through this uh, commission, it's uh, possible to solve uh, this kind of uh, structures or solutions, what is not, not uh, uh, meet this uh, previous shown uh, requirements. But there is uh, poten potential uh, problems. Um, in this procedure, uh, first one is that uh, this this uh, norm of uh, fire requirements uh, do not allow the use of the alternative fire engineering methods uh, by default. Uh, it means that uh, going to this fire department uh, commission, uh, uh, you can can try. To present the, the calculations, uh, alternative ways, and and then the but this commission has the final decision, and uh, as you see, the sometimes this final final decision of commission, state fire, and rescue service might be subjective, and based of the some of the commission members' opinion uh, and not uh, alternative calculation methods or or norms. And um, and there is also always the the risk factor in this case that uh, yeah, when the building is uh, when the building is um, finished and in the final uh, building fire inspection there is always risk that the fire inspector might check uh, might check this uh, normative uh, and uh, and. And there might be some problematic uh, questions in the end. Uh, what is what 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 kind of solution in the future we would, would like to solve with this? And uh, it means that uh, we need to work and improve uh, this uh, building standard, our requirements for the buildings. Uh, 
from the structural point of view. And also, as I spoke with my colleagues, uh, industry need to think about the certified uh, fire engineering position. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's an engineer, fire engineer who can uh, calculate uh, this uh, fire engineering uh, uh, problems and uh, to prove to prove this uh, through the calculations to prove these uh, safety issues and also involve involves this more engineering competence also in uh, st fire uh, state uh, rescue service department to to better uh, to better for better result uh, construction uh, construction stage of the timber build, timber timber structures. Uh, of course, there is question timber elements structural parts uh, produced in factory or made on construction site. Uh, in Latvia, we have uh, uh, quite uh, hard uh, weather conditions. If you look in the in the middle middle large scale buildings and uh, it means that uh, very important is uh, how we how we protect this wood uh, during uh, during construction and it means that uh, uh, there is also always be the question uh, factory produced uh, structures on on site and made uh, the construction time schedule also timber and structural protection on site uh, how it how 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 it uh, can be solved as i mentioned the uh, the weather conditions if this uh, building is is uh, uh, construction schedule is uh, during the whole whole year we need to take take this account uh, connection details and the history of uh, of wood uh, wood uh, timber structures in latvia uh, in the old buildings involved uh, much of the craft craftsman's work. It means that uh, the architect or uh, engineer solved uh, the main issue and uh, the, the craftsman uh, done the final final uh, final work on, on site with all 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 uh, connections and, uh, and uh, the assembly of structure. But uh, in in nowadays. This design the design procedure is a little bit different, and it uh, might be the we need the high level of design. It means that the uh, design includes all the all the uh, all the detail uh, drawings, and uh, might be the the shop drawing stage also. And traditions of uh, timber construction with direct uh, direction of modern construction for the timber future. It's also the question, uh, what kind of uh, way we choose? Because uh, many of our producers produced uh, details, connection details, and uh, it's uh, make a faster assembly of wood structures. One of the very big uh, issue for the wood is of course moisture shrinkage and uh, dimension changes and we as a uh, structural designers uh, do, do not uh, we need we need to take it uh, take it account because the wood is the only material uh, if we compare with other materials uh, with that kind of things it means that uh, we should take it take it account uh, in design and also in uh, construction stages uh, protection during construction, as I said, uh, there is two two different pictures and two different ways uh, how to solve this. In the left uh, is the, some some picture from Scandinavia where the wood wood structure assembly is uh, fully protected from weather, and the right uh, picture is the the moisture in construction site in in Latvia and. Uh, I choose these pictures not not to show the the, the difference between the between the like con construction level, but just to to, to remind that uh, in wood and timber structures it's very very important to, to take this issue account because uh, there might be the very good design, very good architectural idea, but uh, 
if we do not take account this in, in construction stages, there might be this results not, not so good. Uh, life cycle of timber bearing structures. Uh, in the right, you see the typical typical floor structures in old uh, old uh, old houses. It's actually a typical problem uh, in that that uh, during some some renovation windows is changed. Uh, ventilation problems is not not uh, solved uh, and. Uh, Covered wood, what is the what is hidden in the in the ceiling structure is uh, actually staying as as you see in the picture, and it means it's very important uh, also also after the construction uh, to see and control the moisture level. It is extremely important because uh, as you see in the table of fire requirements. Uh, if the wood is hidden, then uh, you don't see this, this, uh, these issues and uh, this process what you cannot control. And uh, we need to think about solutions for this possibility to, to replace, uh, to replace uh, main joints and timber elements. Because once more, if you don't see this, uh, this process, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a very dangerous issue. And of course, the timber properties in long-term buildings and fly cycle. Here is one uh, good example, good example of uh, wood structure. It's a Kenokuma Yoroshara Wooden Bridge Museum, where you see that the uh, architect chose the expose, expose all wood uh, timber structures. And uh, I chose this picture because this is a very good way uh, and during the life cycle of building, uh, to monitor the condition of uh, wood timber structures, it means you can see the old joints, you can see the wood, you can see the problems before the problems is uh, started. It's a very very good example. Here, of course, uh, <laughs> next bad picture. It is a typical uh, timber frame house in USA. And uh, also, what kind of problems might be in, in, in the wood wood structure if the if the wood is covered, uh, the moisture problems is not solved, and uh, you you don't see the the hidden process what is going on with wood, and this is this is result what might be. We need to take take this count and think about this. So my summary of presentation uh, is like uh, five points. Uh, the first, the client is the main figure, but before design stage, it means that the client uh, chose the way to use timber and 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 uh, to see in the in the project. Uh, second one, we need to improve and think about the the fire uh, requirements of building and these norms. Uh, we need to think in future how to improve this standard to to include more fire engineering in, in the standard and. Uh, moving forward with uh, better timber and wood architecture. Third one is industry need fire engineers, uh, certified persons who can connect design issues and state fire and rescue service department. Because the actually for we have the for, for common goal uh, as designers and also as a, as a fire safety guys, we need to, to design the safe building. Uh, fourth, uh, of course, wood shrinkage and uh, wood wood creep effects in log spine structures. We need to we need to be careful with that. We need to calculate that. We need to design uh, joints and we we need to design uh, wood structures uh, that is uh, designed according what we need. And fifth and is very important to take into account also timber structures, uh, whole life cycle of building and man manage this uh, possible possible risks. And the last picture, what I want to show you, it's like uh, I, I, we and our my colleagues really like this project is a Mundo I office building in Antwerp. And, and it would, this picture might present our, our goal in timber industry because this, this this, this structure and building, it's a very good, uh, very good uh, 
compare with a good architecture, very good structural engineer, uh, very good uh, fire engineering, and also very good uh, construction and assembly planning and skills. And uh, my wish for, for our industry is to, to, to go in, in that direction. Thank you very much.